Hi, this is Jackie Phillips with Millennium Magazine, and I'm here with Vince Rocco from Halstead Marketing Company, and we are in the beautiful Upper East Side of Manhattan at this new gorgeous, gorgeous condominium, the Claire. Tell us a little bit about this, Vince. Well, nice to see you and nice to meet you today. Nice to meet you too. Thanks for being here. The Claire is a wonderful um, example of difference and what you can do differently in a neighborhood that really doesn't have anything like this product. Um, I can tell you from many people coming through here that it's been received very well. Mm -hmm. The architect uh, has designed a building that's filled with light and air and lots of glass. We happen to be sitting in a, uh, an apartment with 18 foot ceilings. So, you know, this is a great example of what the product is, and we'll take a tour in a little while to see the rest of it, but it's a wonderful example, again, as I said earlier, of a neighborhood changing, and with product like this coming to an older 50s and 60s type of building, where when you walk out on the street, you stop because the building stands out, but it I stands out in a good that. way. Yes, that was the first thing I noticed when I arrived, and I did do a little bit of research, of course, and manual glass a lot of his buildings have this kind of design where it's just gorgeous, ceiling to floor, glass, everything feels light. I feel like I'm on a cloud being in here. You, you, know? you do. And one of the things about manual glass I think that is so special mm -hmm. is that he's inspired by light and he's inspired by air and the marrying of both light and air. Mm -hmm. You know, as I tell people when they come into this place, the product makes you smile. Yes, I love that. And the reason it does is because when you walk in, the air is so amazing. The light is so amazing. You feel like you're actually outside in a cloud. And I think his inspiration was to do just that, to bring difference to an area that doesn't have anything like this. You know, this is basically a, a, a building that you'd see downtown. Yes, I was going to say that. Took the words out of my mouth. In Tribeca, in Soho, in West Chelsea, mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't really exist up here. No. So part of the fun in selling this building is to explain to people, and I don't have to do a big, a big job of that because no. they can tell on their well, own. And you can see all the other buildings around you. Right, right. You Th know? That, that's, that's proof right there. Yeah. So the smile comes in when you walk in the door, mm -hmm. when I come here every day, and when clients come in and out of here every day, because I think what Manual Glass has done uh, really shows and people can appreciate it because it just I love the term in real estate it just doesn't exist anywhere else you know the other thing too is walking in you're not sure what to expect and then it blows your expectations because you walk in and you're just like wow it's all light it's all windows it's to the ceiling you have no blocking views south and no. west and I mean it's just magnificent it, it really is one of the other things I wanted to say um I got involved with this project because, actually, I didn't even know I was going to get the project. I came to see the product with my bosses first, I think before I even interviewed with uh, the developers. And so I loved it immediately, yeah. had the same reaction and as you did. Your face lights up when you talk about it. <laughs> it really does because it's just an unbelievable place to be. So I think a week or two later, I interviewed with the developers and I explained, they asked the question, did you see the product yet? And I said, oh, yeah, I certainly oh, yeah. did. And I just hope that I do good enough today on this interview with you that I get this deal because this is a great product to sell. The other thing I wanted to point out here, too, is because you said it a minute ago, we face south and we face west. Mm -hmm. And that gives us here in the city the best light you can ask for. Yes. And because we're on higher floors and because there's no obstructions. Yes. The city views are amazing, and of course the light gets even better. Mm -hmm. So they picked the perfect property the perfect for this property. architecture. Yes. Perfect. It's magnificent. So I know you've sold a lot of them already. There's only, what, five left available are, for sale? There are five left. The product wow. is uh, only 30 units, uh, so we consider it a boutique building. Which is wonderful. Yeah, we have a full floor on the 13th floor, um, uh, what we call amenities. I call it the clubhouse floor. Mm -hmm. Which uh, we'll go see, right? We we'll will go see. Tour. Yeah, of okay, course. We'll show right? everybody what it looks like. But there's a catering kitchen, so if you have a big party, you have uh, space to have um, people working in the kitchen. There's a magnificent sun deck. Actually, it stretches the entire south-facing wall here, so you're out up in the sky on the sun deck. That's amazing. And then in the corner, right above this duplex, so it's got this, the same um, 
uh, west and south view is the gym. So when you see this gym and you feel like you're working out in this gym, you, it's going to be like your own apartment. It's amazing. And you're inspired to work out harder. Like when you have a great view, you know, you just want to start your day and, you know, get going. And the, the treadmills, of course, and the elliptical machine and all of the, the machines are facing the window. So if you don't get a good experience working out on those machines, yeah. I don't think you ever will. <laughs> yeah, you should have I mean, I up. just don't think you ever will, <laughs> no matter what gym you're in. So it's perfect. Usually they're in the basement, right? Oh, Usually yes. they're dark and dingy and you're no right. one wants to work out on them. You're right. Trust me, this, this gym will be utilized. It's, it's quite amazing. So what do we have to look forward to with this property? You're, you'll be selling them soon, and when do you open for, you know, when can people move in? That's a good question. Closings are beginning uh, uh, at the end of August, oh, wow. so a month from now. Well, th some other things that I think are very positive about this location is you're in the heart of the Upper East Side. Now there's the train. That works. And you're close to the highway. And you're close to some amazing hospitals. So this is location, location, location. I like to say we're at the nexus of Midtown East and the Upper East Side. Mm -hmm. And as you just said, what's made this property or this product uh, more attractive is the uh, brand new 2nd Avenue subway, the, the Q Line. 2nd Avenue subway. <laughs> we love the Q Line on 2nd Avenue. I was just going to say before we start taking a tour, what are some other wonderful things about the Claire that you would like to share with our audience? One of the things I really like about it is the, the fact number one is that it's only 30 units, so it's very boutique. Very unbusy building. As you go through your busy life, you come home and it's going to be really quiet and yes. private. There is a 24 hour doorman, seven days a week, so you're fully monetized. There is a full time super, of course, building staff. Uh, there's pet a, friendly. It's pet friendly. There you are, yes. cats and dogs, and no limitation on size. You can bring anybody, any pet you want here. Uh. I think the most important um, factor for me is the fact that it's small, it's boutique, and it's really like you know, you move in, you make this your home, and anybody who comes to see you will be envious. Believe me, the lobby is beautiful. As I said before, the amenity floor is beautiful. Our sun duck outside is beautiful. Uh, I've already met the super. He's already been on board for a little over a month. He's oh, nice. fantastic. I just keep meeting all these wonderful supers. So the the building is great. The product is great. The apartments, as you can see, are spectacular. So I think continuing that smile, as I talked about in the beginning, for anybody who comes here and eventually lives here, uh, it's a smile. Well, I like that, and I would like to end with that. You have a smile, and you have your own little neighborhood in this building. Because with 30 units, you're going to know your neighbors. And that's something very unusual in New York. It's so. very unusual. And I sometimes think, especially when I'm in this apartment, I, I feel like I'm living in a townhouse. Mm -hmm. Nice and private, all by myself, in a townhouse. No one here to bother me. Yes. And it's a quiet building. It's very quiet. You don't hear anything going on. Based on the location we're in, a lot of people come here thinking that it might be a little noisy. Mm -hmm. Not at all. No. It's quite amazing. Well, thank you, Vince. Thank you. I'm looking forward to taking you on a tour. I can't wait. See this special place. Thank you.